In this video, we'll review a Web Stories Insights Dashboard. Tools like this give you deep insights into your content, allowing you to fine-tune your stories for more views and engagement. So without further ado, let's get started. This is the Web Stories Insights Dashboard, a sample template that we built to get you started on your analytics journey. This template is very easy to use. It's as simple as adding a tag and boom, analytics are ready to be consumed. You can use several different analytics providers for your stories. But today, we're going to focus on using Google Analytics along with the Data Studio. If you don't have an existing Google Analytics account, you can set one up for free. And as a reminder, we're doing all of this to make sure that you get to that juicy data that will help you understand your audience and improve your content. All right, before you can start using the template, you need to make sure that your analytics are set up properly. Supply your Google Analytics ID to your visual editor. Web Stories for WordPress, Make Stories or Newsroom AI all have simple menus where you can drop it in. Now, data should flow into your Google Analytics account. The dashboard itself requires no installation. It's as simple as navigating to the URL and using the click to select your data dropdown to pick the Google Analytics account tracking Web Story data. This imports your data into the dashboard. After the import, the reports in the dashboard will populate. You can adjust the date range in the upper right corner or filter down to specific stories. With setup out of the way, let's look more closely at some of the reports. There are two main tabs, the Overview tab, which refers to all stories published in the selected time period, and the Story Level tab, which dives into individual stories. Here's a quick overview of some of the metrics you'll see and what they mean. Story Starts is the number of times users have gotten to the first page of your story, while Story Completions is the number of times users reach the last page of your story. Story Completion Rate is nothing but Story Completions divided by Story Starts and view time is the amount of time users spend in your stories. In the Overview tab, you can view your top performing web stories based on the number of story starts. You can also sort by story completion and view time. Additionally, if you go to the Story Level tab, you'll find information about individual story pages. Another interesting part of the Overview tab is the Audience section of the dashboard, which provides basic demographic information of your audience, including age, gender, and device breakdowns. Finally, you can see an overview of the traffic your stories received from different channels like social, referral, organic search, or direct. You can also configure custom channels in Google Analytics, and they will automatically appear in this chart. Direct traffic may also include discovered data. Please refer to the Search Console for a detailed breakdown of Google traffic. So, what do you do with all these metrics? Well, for example, if your average view time is low or if you see a significant drop in views after a particular page in a story, that tells you that you need to provide more engaging content so that the user stays and clicks through to the next page. Or if you notice from the channel section that a specific story is getting more traffic from search, it could mean that the content appealed to more users. So maybe take a closer look at what you did in that story that made it so intriguing. There are so many different ways to analyze and draw insights from this data, and we're excited to see these help improve your content and viewership. We are coming to an end. Remember, the Web Stories Insights Dashboard is but one way to visualize your web story performance. You can also make a copy of this dashboard for your own account and modify it separately. We'll be sure to keep you posted on any developments or improvements to the analytics ecosystem. Until next time. I hope you liked this video. And if you want to learn more about web stories, I'm sure you like this one here too. And don't forget to subscribe here. Bye.